Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is like logical operator in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look on the definition first. Like logical operator is used when we want to return the row if operand matches a pattern. Sometime we need to perform pattern matching instead of equal or not equal conditions. Like is used when we want to return the row if specified character string matches a specified pattern. Pattern can be combination of regular characters and wildcard characters. We will perform these all different in demo and show you what are special characters or what are regular characters or wildcard characters. To return the row back, uh, regular characters must exactly match uh, the characters specified in the character string uh, and uh, the wild characters can be matched with the arbitrary parts of the character string. Uh. So let's take an example and perform our demo on DBO customer table. Here in DBO customer table, I have ID, first name, last name and country short name. I did insert uh, some of the rows here. So you can see there are nine total rows for DBO customer table. Let's execute this query. Nine records are inserted. Now, first of all, we will be using a percent with the like operator. So think about a scenario when you need to or need to find all the records where first name contains I in them. So we can see that here I have a, let me run the select statement. I have a Rita R I T A, so you can see that the second character in this name is I. I have Suki, that's the last character is I. So I have other Elise, that's another third character is I in this uh, name. You can see we have another uh, couple of names here which contains I. So to write this like operator with the percent, you can write something like this. So I'm going to use a percent on both sides up. So what I'm trying to tell here, I want to select everything from this uh, uh, table DBO customer where my first name like uh, and then I have percent here and then I in the middle and then person uh, on the right side. That tells us uh, on the left side of uh, this I can be anything. So maybe R, P, S, whatever. And it doesn't matter how many characters. So anything can be happening on uh, the left side there but there should be i somewhere and then after that there could be anything or there would be no nothing after that uh, i so that you can see that here we have suki that is i is the last character so so that's also qualified because uh, s u k h u that's on the left side then we have i and uh, that's it if there is a, there is, there are other characters it's going to consider if there are no characters it's not going to consider so we will get all the records where first name contains I. Let's go ahead and execute this query. And you see that it returned us all those records. Now I can change my query. Maybe I am looking for the names which start with R A. So instead of here using the percent uh, that's our wild card uh, that will match with uh, any arbitrary characters uh, we can remove that um, so I'm gonna remove this I would like to say my name should be starting with RA so then uh, after RA there could be any other characters uh, so I can run this query now it should give me all the characters uh, sorry all the rows which has uh, first name starting with the RA the same thing can be happening uh, an other way around. So think uh, of this scenario where you have these names here and you would like to get all the names which end with the E. So or maybe let's say, yeah, we can do E or A, whatever. So what we would need to do here. So we'll say percent that mean anything but the last character here should be E. So that's another possibility if we would like to run our query and you see that now I got a lease. So that's how you will use a percent with starting and ending or in the middle even you can use it. Let's take another scenario here. So if I would like to write something like that, my names should show me the records of where there should be uh, maybe in the middle you you, you want to start with something like this okay it should always start with r 
okay fine then it can have anything in that okay so you see that i have raza here i have robert so starting point is the same and then if uh, the last character is a so uh, that could be possibility so you will say anything a now you will see that i'm going to get raza but in cases where i would like to get uh, uh, my first character should be r and the last character should be t so in the middle there could be anything we can change that so first let's run for this so you can see that i have a starting character r and the middle doesn't matter then we have end character that's r a so you see i have raza i have rita and then i have again raza now let's go to the next example now we have used an underscore by using underscore what happened the underscore can be used when we want to check the single character that can be anything and provide the rest of the characters for our match let's say that if we want to find all the rows where first name first character can be anything but rest of the records sorry characters uh, ita so we can write our query something like this so you see that i want to start this search the first character can be anything but after that i should have these three characters so if i run this one you can see that i have rita and then also i have data so rita and data will be returned because the first character can be anything but after that these three characters should be there so this is really good uh, when you uh, have uh, this kind of criteria where uh, you can uh, you want any characters to be the first or middle and then you can use it okay so we used uh, in the start and we can use the same way in the end so let's say if i would like to write something like this okay my name can be let's say if i would say um I'm just trying to find make some example from here. Let's say R A, uh, and here I have. Um, I don't have anything. Um, th th this record is. Uh, let me make something like that. So let me go back to this, and we have customer table instead of uh, saying Raza in both places. Uh, maybe I would like to change with the D here. Okay. Now this is changed. Now we have two values here that start with r a z but last character can be anything so you from here you can see it which we should get raza and we should get uh, r a z d because the first three characters match and then the last character can be anything so here so you see that we got those uh, two uh, rows from here also you can do anything like this uh, let's say if you would like to say oh okay my first uh, character should be r then in the middle that could be any other character so and then uh, also maybe i would like to say z and a so now you will see that um this is something i have only one record but if they, you have r a z here then you can have r d p after r there could be any character so you learn the point like okay so if you are checking for one character you can use underscore that come can come uh, starting in the middle or at the end it depends upon your scenario how you would like to select the data now the third one using parenthesis or uh, uh, square brackets any single character within the specified range let's say a to t or set like a b c so like operators with the, these uh, square brackets can be used when we want to have range let's say that if i want to find all the rows with first name first character start with a to f so if I, I want to provide a range, I can use that. This is how our query will look like. So you see that we have a, a to F here. So select asterisk from DB customer where first name like and we are providing the range of characters for the first. And then we have a, a percentage here. So first character should be between uh, between A and F and the rest of that can be anything. So let's run the query. And you see that. So we have A, D, and A again, 
and uh, that's the first uh, characters uh, so uh, we don't have uh, and uh, then we have anything after that let's uh, let expand that uh, example a little bit so now if I would like to go ahead uh, from A to uh, S so that means I'm including uh, R as well so we should be getting Raza as well because A to S uh, the R comes before S so uh, we, we should be checking uh, the first characters uh, in first name should be from A to S uh, and then after that can be anything so we are providing a range of uh, characters that should be for our first character so you can see that uh, I have R S uh, J R and all that so um, but now you can change to K and all that whatever just to test your things you know and you have James now you see that uh, the first character range is changed from A to K so and then you have percentage sign that means anything after that the same way you can do something like this now if you would like to say percent here and then you wanna give something like the range here you can do that it's not a big deal so anything at the end but the last correct range is A to K so let's do this one so you see that we have the last A and I and uh, now if I'm gonna go some A to F let's say I just wanna give some small results at so we see that we have A E D and a so the last characters uh, lies between a to f uh, so by if you will do a to z i mean then we are going to get pretty much uh, everything uh, so you can see that right here you know okay so you get you can always uh, play with it and uh, um, change your uh, criteria what you would like to get uh, and then uh, you have uh, these uh, uh, square brackets with this sign caret sign uh, so that means uh, any single character not within the specified range a to t or set a b c so if you see that uh, here in the last example we forgot forgot to provide the example for set uh, so if you don't want to give a range uh, but you would like to have uh, a set of uh, characters uh, let's say if uh, i would like to see okay if my name start with r or s or j so here i can do that r s j so anything that start with r or s or j and then the rest of that doesn't matter whatever it is is gonna show us that now you see that it's starting with r s j so all those records are returned the same thing here if you want to do opposite way you don't want to get those results so you will use square brackets with caret sign so you can provide the range and you can provide the uh, set of characters so in this case we will say let's let's assume that we want to find all the rows where first name first character does not start with the a to f we can use below query and now let me run this and you will get everything but the first character that does not start from a to f so you can see that if I want to go ahead and say uh, two words like let's say to J now that will be uh, we will get uh, less records as well now the J one is also ignored because uh, we don't want uh, all those records uh, where first name um, has uh, a character from A to J as the first character in the name so you can see that the rest of that it can have anything as we use a percent the same way if you want to go ahead and say oh I want to use only three characters so you would do something like this so you have it um, let's say if I don't want to see any record that start with the D so in this case we data will not come and a so I provided only two characters and I said that okay where first name like and I'm saying not uh, uh, not uh, uh, or does not start with D or A and then after that it can have anything so it doesn't matter so let's run that so you see that it returned me all the records where first name does not start with D or a but uh, it returned all those records and uh, after that it can have anything 
so this is how it is going to work and I, I left this an example uh, now let's say if you want to get all the rows where first name does not start with the a d or j you can use this query so it's the same thing i was providing here okay all good so you can see it works the same way uh, if uh, you want to use uh, this percentage before let's say you want to get uh, all the records uh, which can start with anything but the last characters in that uh, um, values or the rows especially in our case we have first name as a column so that uh, should not be a or d or j so it will ignore those rows and you can see that we got the results uh, that started with any characters uh, we didn't care but did not end with a d or j so you can see that here that's great so with the like operator you will uh, be able to filter results uh, according to your requirements uh, and there are many many ways uh, uh, to put these wild cards uh, such as percentage or even uh, uh, underscore and uh, these square brackets and uh, caret signs uh, to filter these records uh, according to your requirement i hope this video will help uh, the scripts i used in this video i will put the link in the description and you can click from there and copy paste and play with it uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video